Whoa. <laughs> I am so curious as to what this is gonna be like. As far as I know, we're breaking up couples. Playing Cupid. We're playing an anti-Cupid, I guess. Convince guests to break up with their loves. Deliver breakup letters and give them advice. Watch the drama you caused unfold. Let's break some hearts. Oh. 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 So, um, we gotta be spiffy, right? We gotta be spiffy. What is this? Ginger hair. We're gonna get silly here. Let's, uh, let's go with the ginger hair. Let's go with the dress over here. Pink button down slacks. No, that was what I was wearing before. Blonde hair. Nope, I'm gonna be ginger. Because everyone loves gingers, right? Edwin. Edwin Sullen is in a happy relationship with Blonda Goose. Okay. Greetings, mortal. Mortal? I am Edwin Sullen. Are you... <laughs> is this is this a uh, basing off a of twilight? Pleased to meet your acquaintance on this dreadfully cheerful day. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Hey, cutie, I'm pleased to meet you as well. Uh, good thing the sun's not out, right? Sparkle, sparkle. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> the sun's absence is indeed a relief, sparing me from its harsh rays. Your attempts at humor do not go unnoticed, but I must say, stay vigil vigilant, vigilant against fri frivol, frivol, I can't pronounce that word, frivolity. Edwin, I have some bad news for you. Actually, uh, Blonda sent me over here to talk to you uh, because she's afraid to talk to you. <laughs> Try oh, yeah. How dare you speak ill of Blonda's intentions, but why would she fear conversing with me? What secrets do you hold? Her heart is torn between loving you and loving another. I'm sorry to say this, but she loves another. <laughs> oh. oh, the burden of the heart's desires. I must comfort Blonda and seek the truth from her own lips. Thank you for your honesty, even if it weighs heavily upon my immortal soul. I'm sorry to bring up this hard news to you. Uh, I hope this does not break your heart. Oh, I'm Cupid. My heart is already broken, for I must carry this eternal burden of solitude. Your words merely echo the melancholy that resides within me. Thank you for your concern, even though it is but a fleeting moment in my endless existence. How do I make them break up? This is weird. Who is this guy walking up to us? <laughs> Edwin, come with me and I can help you find love. I do not want to see your heart broken any longer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh. You off your offer is kind, yet finding love is perilous journey for an immortal like me. But perhaps there is hope in your words. I am willing to explore this possibility with caution. Lead the way, actress. Lead me towards the light. What else am I supposed to say? What else am I supposed to say? Edwin, you are so difficult. But of course, your eternal life can be only quenched by eternal love. I don't know what the heck I'm saying. I don't know what the heck I'm saying. Your wisdom resonates with the depths of my undead soul. I shall follow your guidance and seek out this elusive eternal love. Perhaps there is hope. What the heck did I just do? What the heck did I just do? I didn't break anyone's heart. I didn't break anyone's heart. I didn't break anyone's heart. Persephone? Persephone? My battles are won on the battlefield, not at parties. Fair enough. But have you tried winning hearts instead? Persef I, I want to talk to Persephone. Persephone's in Hades. Oh, hello there, darling. Are you a flower nymph in disguise? Your aura is positively blooming with potential. Your words are so kind, Persephone. 
I wish that Hades felt the same way about you as I do right now. <laughs> what? What? No! What? Why? Why? Persephone. Hail, lovely mortal. I'm Persephone, the mistress of the season of flowers and plenty, and the grand ruler of the underworld. What brings you to my humble abode at this enchanting Valentine celebration? Persephone, I bring you dreadful news about Hades. Hades is seeing other women behind your back. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to break someone up. How dare you speak such falsehood? Hades may be the ruler of the underworld, but he is a is faithful to me. Be gone, deceitful mortal. Oh, she is pissed off. How am I supposed? Hey, bud. Hey, man. Did you know Alejandro has a secret twin? I'm hungry. Alejandro has a secret twin. Who's Alejandro? Alejandro. Rosalina. Okay. Hey, ¿qué tal? You look stunning, me amigo. Welcome to our Valentine soiree, where love is in the air and passion is on the dance floor. Hola Alejandro, how goes it? I hope all is well tonight on this lovely day. Oh, yeah. Ah, mi pre preciosa actress, it is always a pleasure to see you. Tonight is filled with amor and romance. But something tells me there is more on your mind, no? See, si Alejandro, I am sorry to tell you, but Rosalinda has accidentally been unfaithful to you with your twin brother. No, no puedes estar en lo correcto. There must be some misunderstanding, mi amor. This seems like a tall... Oh my god! Oh gosh! Who's this? Security outfit. Security outfit. Um, what's this? Lawyer suit. I don't. I can't break up a single person. You, you and Grandma Mod? Oh my God! Charles A. Boomer with Grandma Mod? Well, 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 darling. You look like you just stepped out of the silver screen. Happy Valentine's Day to ya. Your words are so kind. Thank you so much. You look quite dashing yourself. Might I say, uh, is that a elegant perfume on you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> cologne. I meant cologne. <laughs> elegant perfume, huh? That ain't perfume. That's just good old mothballs to keep the critters away from my suit. But I appreciate the flattery, I guess. <laughs> good old mothballs. I have never thought of that. I must try that on my clothing so that I can, I can keep all the moths away as well. Good old mothballs. Well, I suppose you could try it if you want, but be warned, your clothes might smell like Granny's Attic. So, what's your favorite movie you st you've starred in, anyway? <laughs> uh, okay, I'm a ginger. I'm gonna make something up. My favorite movie I starred in is Why Does Everyone Hate Gingers? It is quite interesting to see everyone's unique perspective. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Why does everyone hate gingers, huh? Sounds like a real doozy. What made you pick such a peculiar film, darling? <laughs> well, being a ginger myself, I love actually the comedic aspect of the film. Just to keep people laughing, you know, and smiling. <laughs> uh, I see where you're coming from now. Gotta spread some joy in this crazy world, I suppose. Keep up the good work, young darling. Young lady. <laughs> so, Charles, I heard you and Grandma Maud have a, quite a great relationship. What do you like about her? Hello. What do I like about Maud, you ask? Well, she cooks a mean pot roast. Can't deny that, but there's something off about her, I tell you. Really? What is off about Grandma Maud? She seems so sweet on the outside. What could she be hiding? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, you think she's sweet on the outside, huh? Well, let me tell you, there's a darkness in her eyes that I can't shake. 
I reckon it's time to pen that breakup letter and move on. <gasps> I got one. To Grandma Maud. I heard from an actress that you might be hiding something dark behind those sweet eyes of yours. So I've decided to say goodbye and find someone who doesn't give off evil vibes. Sincerely, Charles A. Boomer. Um, I definitely have to drop this outfit. I'm that sweet actress. Can't be that sweet actress. Um, wait. Can't drop that letter. Grandma Maud, hi. What should I do next, doctor? Charles A. Boomer broke up with me because of some actress's words about me having dark secrets. I'm sorry to hear that, Grandma Maud. I do have the letter here about the breakup saying that he heard there are dark secrets behind your sweet eyes. I'm sorry. Thank you, doctor. I will take your advice and go confront Charles A. Boomer about these silly rumors. <laughs> you think you can hide your dark secrets behind those sweet eyes, Grandma Maud? Well, I'm done with your games. Oh dear, Charles, I never meant to hurt you, but if you can't see past the sweetness, then maybe it's for the best. You think you can just wave me away with your goodbye? I won't stand for it, Grandma Maud. Oh, what a relief. Ah, finally, I can be free of your grumpy attitude, Charles. Farewell. How dare you celebrate our breakup, Maud? You're nothing but a sly fox with dark secrets hiding behind a sweet smile. You may think I'm hiding something, but <laughs> I'm not uh, afraid to show you my true colors, Charles. Good riddance. Yes, my first breakup. Maud and Charles is done. So, uh, what's going to happen? Can I can I consume blood? No, I can't consume blood. Wow, okay. Um Hey. Oh, 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 oh my god, no. You tell the demon your name and explain that you're a maiden from the village. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> so that noise is made. Fish? 